Wouldn't it be great if you could utilize all of your social media contacts to filter information from the web? Well, now you can with Social Median. At socialmedian.com, you could use those contacts to act as your own personal editors to filter the information from the social web. To get started, on the right side, click the sign up link to begin the registration process. From here, you can supply your email ID, a password, and a desired username. If you are a user of the Twitter service, Social Media recommends that you check this box. This is the same as my Twitter username. Social Media has several Twitter ties which can be utilized. After you have agreed to the terms and conditions, click Create Account to get started. After you have signed in to social media, you'll notice several new tabs at the top. You'll see an SM Today tab, My Newsmakers, My Networks, Me, All, and Replies. This may look a little bit intimidating at first, but I'll show you how to get started. The first thing you should do in social media before you do anything else is to find networks. Networks consist of several different sources surrounding a similar topic. So I'm going to scroll down to the right side and you'll see a section called Find News Networks. Here we'll enter a topic. Let's pick cooking and click go. Social media will then search all of the networks that are out there and show you the top search results. Here we see food and cooking which has 90 users, three topics, and 13 stories in the last 24 hours. So it looks a little bit active. If we scroll down, we can see the other search results. Food Related has 11 users, but 39 stories in the last 24 hours. That looks a lot more active. Let's join that one. To join this network, click Join. The icon changes to Quit This News Network, denoting that we have successfully joined the Food network. Now to see our networks, we'll click News Networks and then My Networks at the top. Here we have a list of all of our current networks, but if we want to see a specific network, we just click on the link. And within here, we now have news surrounding that topic just that fast. Now that you've joined some networks, it's time to add your own sources so that you can contribute to social media for your friends. To add RSS feeds or sources to your social media account, on the right side you'll see an Add Something box. Here you can add snippets, news, or even sites. Site is what we want to focus on. Here we can add and edit sites by clicking Add Edit Site. And from here, we can add links and feeds from our favorite sites. So for example, if I wanted to add my Quick account, which is a mobile streaming site, I would click on the icon and supply my Quick ID. I could optionally add a link to, my, to this service in my profile. I can import them all or I can import them containing certain keywords. For example, if I want to designate certain videos in Quick to go to social media and I'll put an SM keyword in that video, it'll automatically be imported. I'll click Add Site to add that site to social media. And now everything I do on the Quick site with the tag SM will now appear in my social media timeline. Now that we've gotten started by adding our feeds and adding our networks, it's now time to actually use social media. The information in social media comes from four sources, four main sources. It comes from your newsmakers, these are the people that you follow on social media. From the networks you've joined, this should be a lot of information based on the information that you want to see. From everyone, also from a new feature called SM Today. SM Today shows you the hottest topics that are happening on social media. Here you'll see some of the, the stories with the highest velocity as well as some of the top stories which are rising fast. 
If you really want to see what's happening now, this is a good place to start. Next, we'll click on the My Newsmakers tab. This is where the users you follow and your social media contacts provide you with filtered stories that you'll want to see. Here we can see the number of clips. You can imagine a clip to be someone clipping a story out of a newspaper or someone highlighting a story whether they're liking it or disliking it. Social media has a mood indicator to indicate whether people are liking this story or disliking this story. Whether you like or dislike, the story will be clipped and the number will increment. We also see a title and a short summary. So on the My Newsmakers tab, this is where all of your social media contacts are providing you with information. And you can scroll down and pick which stories you want to clip or which ones you want to specify a mood on. Next is My Networks. Recall the very first step was to join some networks so that you can see content surrounding topics you want to see. This is where all that content is aggregated. By clicking the My Networks tab, you're seeing all the content from all your networks. But you can also see what's hot right now or what the most recent stories. If you go to the News Networks tab at the top, you can also see your networks by popular, recent, alphabetical order. You can create a new network or you can search for networks. So this menu gives you a contextual view of what you can do with networks. And finally, there's the All tab. The All tab shows all of the activity that's happening on social media. And this includes people not in your contact list and information not in your network list. A big part of the fun of social media is actually contributing to discussions. Note how you use social media and which tabs you use the most. Once you've figured out which one suits your liking the best. You can set it as your default tab. To join the discussion, simply click the comment or add a comment link. Right within the page, a box drops down and you can type whatever you want, such as this is my comment, and click add to add it. If you've tied your social media account to Twitter, you can also tweet this comment or reply to Twitter. There's also some other features of social media that will enable you to better communicate with others. Now up till now we've been discussing the features of social media in the middle of the website. But on the right side there's also some tools that can help you. For example, the social media bookmarklet, which you can drag to your browser's toolbar, and you can clip stories from any site on the web as you visit them. For example, if you go to WashingtonPost.com and find a news story that you like, you can click on that bookmarklet and it will automatically post it to your social media timeline. You can also import your contacts to social media. So if you want to utilize your Gmail, Hotmail, or Twitter contact list in order to import your contacts, you can do so. Also, there's a box here that shows you the popular rising fast and hot discussions that are going on on social media. You can also see your clips and what's going on as far as your social media followers, newsmakers, networks, and the like. So what we have is a great site that can filter information that comes from the web so often that we're inundated by so much information that comes in from our different news sources. It's great to have a site such as social media to filter that information by utilizing your social media contacts and using them as your editors and vice versa. For more information about social media, click the About Us link at the top right. Or if you need any help with any feature or encounter any issues with social media, click the Get Help button. Thank you for viewing this tutorial and enjoy social media.